What do you hope is the, uh, what's your ultimate hope and outcome for this study? What do you hope people take away from it? Well, one thing is I like people who don't necessarily resonate with the issue of health equity or an inequity as it relates to people of color to see that this is not just an issue of, of people of color, that everyone is harmed by this because everyone is paying into a system and not getting the return on that investment. It's a drag on the economy. It's a significant drag on the economy. And in fact, the first time we did this, we calculated that the cost, the drag on the economy was equal to the total economy of the 11th largest economy in the world, which was India. So we're talking about a lot of money and Wait, it, unpack that. So when you when you say the drag on the economy, what what do you mean? This was that? the first. Well, okay. This is the way that we think about this. That this okay. is. It's not that we're paying money because of the inequities. It's that we're lose. It's the lost opportunity. I see. So we call consider that a drag on the economy. It's the, holding the economy back a bit, right? And that 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 hold is pretty substantial. We're talking about a lot of money. And I think the most important point here is that I can't tell you what it will cost to fix the health inequities, and it will cost something. But it also will cost something to not fix the inequities. And so the, to the, the argument that we shouldn't do things because it's expensive, I don't think is an argument that's sustained logically because it also costs, there's a, there's a significant cost of inaction. And that's a cost that I think we should not continue to bear. Got it. And um, what do you believe is ultimately driving, I, I know we talked about structural kind of inequality, but what if you had to kind of pin it down to maybe the top three. What do you think is actually driving the, these excess deaths and, and, and premature deaths in, in communities of color, particularly the African-American community? Lack of will to act. It's political. So when you look at the Affordable Care Act, one of the things that it did was it expanded Medicare, Medicaid um, eligibility, right? But it left open the option for states to decide whether to expand or not. And when you look at the states that did not expand, they are the states with the largest black population. Right? And so African Americans did not benefit from it. Now, and I've had this conversation with legislators in some of those states. I live in Louisiana. Louisiana did actually expand Medicaid. So I say we're surrounded by states that did not, but we did in Louisiana. But when you, um, the, the, the expansion was paid for by federal tax dollars. Who pays federal taxes? We pay federal taxes, including the people that live in Alabama, in Georgia, and in, in Arkansas, in Texas. Mm. They pay federal income taxes too. So they actually paid for the expansion in states like Louisiana and California and New York. So I thank all of you who live in Georgia for paying <laughs> to expand Medicaid in Louisiana and not benefiting from the, so, so it's a political decision. And I think that we have to incorporate the politics because politics are vital. And I think this is a big part of what's driving it. 